Argon 2 ID configuration. I read an article about how to use Argon 2 ID in C Sharp. Here, below is the code they wrote, slightly edited. I have the following questions on the conscious, security, cryptography. Read me page. Instead of Argon 2 ID, get bytes 16, they're using Argon 2, get bytes 128, which returns a longer value. Assuming the configurations are the same, is the 128 approach more secure than the 16 one because it's longer? From what I understand, the more memory we let Argon 2 ID use, the more secure it will be against customized hardware attacks. I therefore assume that even if 40 iterations with 70 megabytes and 4 iterations with 600 megabytes take roughly the same time, the latter configuration's larger memory cost is justified because it's more secure. Is this correct? According to the Argon 2 specs, specifically section 9, recommended parameters, the following procedures should be done to determine which parameters to use. We recommend the following procedure to select the type and the parameters for practical use of Argon 2. Select the type. Why? Dot. If you do not know the difference between them or you consider side channel attacks as viable threat, choose Argon 2i. Otherwise any choice is fine, including optional types. Figure out the maximum number. H. Of threads that can be initiated by each call to Argon 2. Figure out the maximum amount. M. Of memory that each call can afford. Figure out the maximum amount. X. Of time in seconds that each call can afford. Select the salt length. 128 bits is sufficient for all applications, but can be reduced to 64 bits in the case of space constraints. Select the tag length. 128 bits is sufficient for most applications, including key derivation. If longer keys are needed, select longer tags. If side channel attacks is a viable threat, enable the memory wiping option in the library call. Run the scheme of type Y memory M and H lanes and threads, using different number of passes. T. Figure out the maximum. T. Such that the running time does not exceed. X. Dot. If it exceeds. X. Even for. T equals 1. Reduce. M. Accordingly. Hash all the passwords with the just determined values. M. Comma. H. And. T. The tag in this case refers to the output of argon 2. So as the document highlights, 128 bits, or 16 bytes, should be enough for most applications. Generating a longer output will not give you more security. You should generate a longer output if your application needs the output to be longer for some other purpose e.g. generating 256 bits output to use as a key for AES 256. As for the memory cost compared to the number of iterations, I asked a similar question. The answer to that question, as well as the specs, recommend the maximum amount of memory possible given your environment. This question and its corresponding answers explain why it makes sense to maximize memory usage, as long as you have at least three iterations over that memory. In your code, number underscore of underscore iterations is set to four as a recommended minimum value, which seems safe as a minimum. As a side note, you should actually benchmark your values. What primarily matters is the amount of time it takes to perform the calculation of one Argon 2 tag. The specification added above, as well as the questions I linked to, detail this process well.